hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i am vlogging on my phone right now because i forgot my camera at the salon but i wanted to make a video about the nighttime routine that we do with mr jagger here um i remember when i was pregnant i would always look up videos like this um to kind of help me and even now as like a new mom i love watching videos that are like baby hauls nighttime routines um you know just anything like that because i feel like as new moms we're always looking for something that could help so we've got this little munchkin on a pretty good routine and he sleeps through the night the other night he slept 12 hours in his crib by himself so i was so proud so we are going to show you how we get jaggy ready for bed are you ready Okay, so part of my nighttime routine as I'm getting Jagger ready for his bath is I lay out his outfit for the next day. So tomorrow he's gonna wear this handkerchief. I got these on Amazon, I'll link them below. They're so cute and so practical. Um, his diaper and then tomorrow he's gonna wear these cute little leggings with a onesie. So I lay that out just so that in the morning I can dress him easier and we go a lot quicker. All right, you ready to go get in the bath my boy? You ready to go get in the bathtub? Okay, we're in the bathtub. We just have one of these little plastic baths that we use and I just use like lukewarm water. So it's on the warmer side, but not too hot, not too cold. And now we are just gonna soap him up. Are you excited about the bath? Okay, so first we take our little sponge and we just get wet, huh? He's always holding his little hands together. It's so cute. Okay, boy, are you ready? Oh, did you get some in your eye? Yeah? Look at those chunky little legs. I keep a little basket of all his essentials. So I have lotions and washcloths and shampoo, body wash, all of that. That way I always have it right where I need it and we don't have to worry, huh? <laughs> all right, now we're gonna wrap up in his cute little towel. This is an elephant towel, huh? He's so cute. We're getting him nice and cozy and then we're gonna go into his nursery and start the next step. Okay, so we are in his nursery. What we do is I have this grand docketot that I have on the floor. So I lay him in that as I get him all warm and dried off from the towel. So I just put a fresh diaper on and now we are going to do his little nighttime routine with his lotions. We're gonna put his jammies on and then we're gonna do some bottles and some books and some music to get him to lay down. Okay, so something I like to be really aware of, as soon as we're out of the bathtub and we are in his room, I like to keep really dim lighting. So I have his light off and I just have a lamp on. And this is just to kind of get him into like the nighttime mode. And even in the bathroom, I just turn one of like our softer lights on. Um, I don't want anything too bright or too stimulating. And I also try to keep my phone away from him during this routine as well because he gets really distracted by screens and that's gonna keep him awake. So I have him laying down here and we are going to put some lotion on him and some baby cologne. I know that sounds weird, but it's amazing. So we used the Honest uh, Baby Shampoo and Body Wash on him, and I also have the Honest Face and Body Lotion. And this is the calming one, so I will either use this or the Johnson's uh, Nighttime Lotion. Um, so we do this, and I give him a little massage as I put it on, and then I put on the baby cologne. I do this night and morning. This is so like extra probably, but it literally makes him smell so good, and I feel like it's just like another step. And then I have a little comb for his hair. So that's what we're gonna do right now. 
Okay, stop trying to crawl, honey. Okay, so we're gonna put your lotion on first. Get it nice and warm. <gasps> Does that feel so good? Oh, does that feel so nice? Mm, this lotion does smell so good, huh? Oh, so, so big. Mwah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Who's a good boy? Oh, you smell so good. Okay, you can comb your hair. Okay, someone's getting tired, huh? Okay, we've got his cute little jammies on. Now we're gonna put on our sleep sack. So we have been using this since we've been transitioning out of the swaddling. We used to use the Ollie swaddle and it was literally amazing and it was really sad to break away from it because he loved it. But now we use these sleep sacks so it's like a blanket and it's supposed to keep their temperature cool and it kind of weighs them down so they can't move around as much. So it's just like a little tank top and I put him in here. Okay, that's all on. And now the most important part, which is his binky. For those moms out there who have babies that won't take pacifiers, I literally don't know how you do it because that's the only way I calm him down. Um, so I always have a binky clip because he likes to pull it out of his mouth. So I always clip it down pretty low so that way he can't like wrap this around his neck or anything while he's sleeping, but he can also hold on to it. Hey, let's put it back in. Let's put it back in. Good boy. So I'm going to clip this on and then we're going to move on to the next step. I think I hear daddy. Is he gonna bring you a baba? So there There's daddy with the baba. Okay, so we don't do this every night and he's still a little young, so I'm sure as he gets older, we'll do it more. But if sometimes he's like really awake and not wanting to go down, I'll read him a book. And this is one of my favorite ones. I got it from my baby shower from my friend, Christina. Um, it's called When Jagger Grows Up. And this book is awesome because you can customize it to your child and you, and you get to choose what the pages are. Um, and it's just really sweet. And you can put a message in the beginning. So we have this right here and it's just so cute. And then it has each of the pages and he loves to look at colors and shapes. And he always tries to grab the book and bring it near him, which is cute. And it just kind of talks about like things they can do when they're older, Chef Jagger. And it's just so, so cute. So sometimes we start reading this book and then if he starts getting a little bit sleepier, then that's when I know it's time for a bottle. This is my favorite one, Jagger the Rockstar. <laughs> Look at that tattoo. <laughs> okay, so we're now at the point where I'm gonna start feeding him. And something that I do while I do his little massage, pajamas, and bottle is I have a Spotify playlist that I play. It's, hi, it's baby sleep music and it's all nursery rhymes that are really calming and soothing. So I will link that below so you guys can see it, but I always have that playlist going while we're doing the pajamas, the lotion, and now the bottle, and it just kind of calms him down. Um, I used to use a white noise machine. Sometimes I'll do that as well, but he's really been liking the baby music recently. So we're gonna do that while we feed him right now. All right, so this kid loves to have things by his face. So he always has to have like a blanket by him. Um, I don't let him sleep with one obviously, but while we're doing the milk, I always put one by his cheek because it calms him down and he likes to hold on to it. Um, I do anywhere from four to six ounces at night, just depending on if he's eaten recently um, or how much food he's having that day. Um, so he is drinking a four ounce bottle right now. And I will link these bottles below as well because they are bottles, but they also turn into snack containers that you can take on the go when they get older, which is really nice. So we are doing this while we listen to our music and hopefully he will fall asleep soon. I always like to sit in a rocking chair to do this, which I have in his nursery, uh, because he likes to be moved constantly. So if I'm not in a rocking chair, then I have to stand up and bounce him. And then sometimes too, I'll pat his bum a little bit because he likes that movement. So I have to be moving him for him to get into the mode where he will fall asleep. He starts rubbing his eyes when he's tired, so you can tell it's working. And I don't have the music playing right now just because I'm recording and the music's on my phone, so it won't let me do both. 
but normally that is like the best thing because it calms them down and honestly if you have like a routine that they can remember so like bath time uh, the same lotion and you have them in the same spot every night and then you play the music or the white noise or something that they're familiar with he knows that that's like a nighttime cue and so he automatically hears the music and starts feeling more tired at least i think so so i really like doing that because it kind of calms him down Okay, so once Jagger is down, I come downstairs and I pack his diaper bag for the next day. So it's already packed, but I just kind of go through it, make sure I have everything I need, especially because he does go to a nanny most days, and so that way they are prepared. So I'm just gonna go fill his uh, bottle with water to put in the diaper bag, go through it, and just make sure we're all good to go. Okay, so once Jagger is asleep, typically Jordan and I will make popcorn, I've got water, um, and I will take this upstairs and we usually watch an episode of two of House of Cards. That's been like our go-to show right now. Let me know if you've watched it. I'm addicted. It's so good and we're almost done, so I'm kind of sad. Um, and then sometimes I'll do laundry and just other things that I need to get done that is a little bit harder when Jagger's awake. Um, so I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to go up and wash my face, do my skincare routine for the night. I'll show you guys that and then we're going to start watching. Okay, so most nights our nighttime routine works pretty well. And then there's nights like tonight where he wakes up and wants to come in mom and dad's bed. Bentley's got them all <laughs> cuddled up. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Jack, were you naughty? Were you naughty? Look at my boys. Oh, is that your puppy? Let, Let go. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so as you saw, Jagger woke up a little bit. Um, if that happens, normally I will just go in there and put his binky back in his mouth because it's usually because he fell asleep and I'll rub his head. Sometimes he'll go back to sleep. Sometimes I have to pick him up and walk around with him a little bit and then he'll go back. Um, but tonight he's been a little fussier than usual and we think it's because he had dairy. We gave him some ice cream and sometimes that upsets his stomach. So um, if it's a night like tonight where he's a little fussier and he wakes up, we usually put him in bed with us, let him fall asleep because he just likes being around us. It calms him down and then we'll put him back in his crib. So while he is in bed with Jordan, I'm going to show you guys what I do for my nighttime routine as far as like skincare and washing my face goes. So I like to use just like the Neutrogena wipes to get my makeup off for the most part. And when I'm feeling really lazy, I'll just do this. But lately I've been trying to really be better about like skincare and washing my face and actually taking care of it. Um, I never sleep in my makeup. That is the one thing that I won't do. So I at least always do this. Okay, so that's all off. Um, recently I got my eyebrows microbladed and it has changed everything. It's so nice. My eyebrows are really light naturally. So normally when I take off my makeup, I feel like I look sick because there's like nothing there because they're so blonde. Um, so having those done has been awesome because it feels like I still have brows on and then also having eyelash extensions is the best ever because you still feel somewhat put together. Um, okay, so I have two different face washes I like to use. Um, they are the brand Philosophy and I typically use this one. This is the Purity Face Wash and this is just like a gentle cleanser. Um, I use this one most of the time and then I also have the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash and I'll use this one once a week to do like a deep exfoliation and that kind of like removes all the buildup of makeup over the week and things like that. I'm not gonna do this one today. I am just gonna do the cleanser, but I wanted to show you that because it's a game changer. I love it. So what I typically do is I'll just get my hands wet and then I just kind of get my face a little wet and then I am just going to put a little bit of the cleanser on and I usually just do like a quarter size amount, nothing too crazy. And then I'm just gonna massage that in. And once that's on, I actually just get like a little face towel and I get it wet and then I'm just going to get it off that way. Totally forgot to pull my hair back. No wonder it's been harder. 
It's always so crazy to me that like this can be filled with makeup and you think it's all off and then you wash your face and it's really not. Okay, so now that I am all cleansed, what I do is I use this Clinique stuff and it is the Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydro Filler. And this is awesome because I do have filler in my under eye and I feel like the quickest place I get like lines is under my eyes, probably because I'm always stressed <laughs> and I'm getting older. Um, so I feel like this just kind of helps like reinforce the filler and tightens everything up. So I use that every single night. Okay, so after that, I do my moisturizer. I like to use the Jerkins. This is the Natural Glow. Um, it has sunscreen in it, and it's for medium to tan skin tones, and it does gradually darken your skin over time. So I use the normal Jerkins lotion on my body, and then this one on my face. And this just makes me feel like I'm a little more sun-kissed if I don't have a spray tan. Then I don't look as pale, but I like that it's like super natural and it doesn't transfer because it's also just like a moisturizer in general. So that is really nice because it's like three things in one. And then what I do is this Burt's Bees Mist. It's the hydrating facial mist with aloe water. Um, it says it moisturizes and refreshes your skin. And this is awesome because I feel like it just kind of like adds life back into my skin and I almost view it as like a setting spray for my skincare. I don't know if that's true, but I really love using it. So I spray this last. So that is what I do for my skincare routine. Nothing super crazy. Um, the only thing that differs is sometimes I do the exfoliating one about once a week. Other than that, it's just the normal cleanser. And I do that night and morning. And I feel like that is the key to making your makeup look really good and making it last all day is having a good skincare foundation and routine because if your skin feels good and looks good, your makeup's gonna look better. Good morning, sunshine. Did you sleep so good last night? Oh, you're tired. So he went back down around 10, and now he's awake. It's 8.30, and he slept through the night. You did so good. Oh, oh, puppy's trying to give him kisses. He wants attention, huh? You're tired. All right, all awake and dressed. We did kill his puppy. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something that may have helped you with your baby's routine or your nighttime routine. Let me know if you have any tips in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one.